Hi friends, I welcome you all here at TNV Academy. In this session, we are going to talk about an international standard ISO 50001-2018. Now, let's start the next clause 8 operation of ISO 50001-2018. The clause 8 of ISO 50001-2018 outlines the requirements energy management system must meet for successful certification. It includes operational planning and control and ensures that these requirements are consistent with reinforcing continual improvement. The clause 8 has further three subclauses, which are 8.1 operational planning and control, 8.2 design, 8.3 procurement. Let me start with subclause 8.1 operational planning and control. The subclause 8.1 of ISO 50001 2018 specifies that the organization must plan, implement, and control the processes related to its significant energy use needed to meet requirements and to implement the actions determined in the subclause 6.2. This could be done by establishing criteria for the processes, including the effective operation and maintenance of facilities, equipment, systems, and energy using processes, where their absence can lead to a significant deviation from intended energy performance. Clause specifies that organization should determine the significant deviation criteria. The subclause 8.1 of ISO 50001-2018 specifies that the organization must plan, implement, and control the processes related to its significant energy use by communicating the criteria to relevant person or persons doing work under the control of the organization. According to this subclause 8.1, the organization must plan, implement, and control the processes by implementing control of the processes in accordance with the criteria, including operating and maintaining facilities, equipment, systems, and energy using processes in accordance with established criteria. Clause also states that organization must plan implement and control the processes related to its significant energy use by keeping documented information to the extent necessary to have confidence that the processes have been carried out as planned. The organization must also control planned changes and review the consequences of unintended changes, taking actions to mitigate any adverse effects as necessary. It is also stated under this subclause 8.1 of the ISO 50001-2018 that the organization must ensure that outsourced significant energy use or processes related to its SEUs are controlled. Coming to the subclause 8.2 design. The subclause 8.2 design of ISO 50001-2018 specifies that the organization must consider energy performance improvement opportunities and operational control. It must be considered by the organization in the design of new, modified and renovated facilities, equipment, systems and energy using processes that can have a significant impact on its energy performance. This could be done by organization over the planned or expected operating lifetime. Further, the subclause states that where applicable, the results of the energy performance consideration must be incorporated into specification, design, and procurement activities. Covering the mandatory documentation requirements, the subclause 8.2 design says that the organization must retain documented information of the design activities related to energy performance to meet the requirements of the standard. Let's talk about the last subclause 8.3, procurement. 
This sub clause 8.3 procurement of ISO 50001 2018 states that the organization must establish and implement criteria for evaluating energy performance over the planned or expected operating lifetime. The criteria must be established and implemented when procuring energy using products, equipment and services which are expected to have a significant impact on the organization's energy performance. Subclause says that when procuring energy using products, equipment and services that have or can have an impact on significant energy use, the organization must inform suppliers that energy performance is one of the evaluation criteria for procurement. According to this subclause 8.3, where applicable, the organization must define and communicate specifications for ensuring the energy performance of procured equipment and services and the purchase of energy. We have covered clause 8 operation of ISO 50001-2018. I sincerely thank you for your interest and attention. Thanks and best wishes.